In this video, I'm going to introduce a Moodle plugin activity called Journal. So it would need to be installed on your Moodle and it's called Journal, relatively easy to find. So once that's installed, we can then use that in our Moodle courses. Now the journal, it's a very simple uh, single text box activity that the students answer a question in. It's a little bit like the assignment, but much, much, much simpler than it. Okay, it's not as powerful or complex, um, but its attraction is its simplicity, both for the student and for the tutors. Now, one of the ways that I've used it quite a lot is as a way of gathering from the learners the key points that they've learned from a particular topic. And that's the example I'm going to use here. So I'm going to turn editing on and I'm going to add an activity or resource and I need to find journal. Now we give the journal a name. So I'm just going to call mine um, sort of what I have learned during this topic. And I'm then going to put some text into the box. Now I've already created some text just for speed, so I'm just going to copy and paste, but you would add in whatever question you want into the box. Now you can specify how long it stays open for. I'm just going to leave mine as always open. Now we don't have to use the grade mechanism. If you're not using it, then I would suggest switching it to none, but I'm actually going to set mine as a scale and I'm going to use not complete complete. So the learners, once they've done it, I as the teacher will come in and I've got two options. It's either not complete or it is complete. In which case the grade to pass would be two because it's a two point scale. Complete is two, not complete is one. We have the usual common module settings. So if you want to use it with groups, you can use separate groups. You could restrict access. So they can only have access to this once they've done other things, but I'm going to leave that open. And then for activity completion, I'm just going to change it so that uh, activity is complete when conditions are met. And I'm because I'm using a grade, I'm going to use the grade as a way of marking that the activity is complete. So if I save and display, the students will see the question that's here. And then when they come in, they will click on the button. They add their answer and then they save changes. That That is it. So I'm going to just go in as a student. So here is the same course, logged in as a student. Here is the activity. So they click on the link, start or edit the entry, and they would put in their answer. Now, I'm, I'm not going to type in a full answer. I'm just going to uh, put some text in and save changes. So they can see what they've put. It appears below and they can come in at any time and add more information. <laughs> So they can keep coming in and editing it at any time. It doesn't get locked unless you set the kind of time duration uh, as such. Now, for me as a teacher, if I come into the activity, I can now see that there's been one journal entry. So one of my students has written something. So if I click on that, it will then show me um, all of my students in my course and it will show the ones that have answered at the top. So in this case, Dave's student is the name of the student. That is their response that's there. I, as the tutor, can give them feedback. I've got the two options for the grade that I specified, and I can give them an answer. So I can give them feedback if I want to. And the beauty of this is it would show me all of my learners with all of their responses on the same screen. And I would then just have a list here that I can just scroll down and then I could do the feedback all on one screen very, very quickly. With a lot of the other tools in Moodle, you have to keep going back and forwards, back and forwards in different screens. With this one, it will do it for all of the users in one screen. So I click on save all my feedback. If I go back as the learner, the learner can now see what the feedback is and they can then edit their entry. Do a bit more text and save changes. So when I come back in as the teacher, I can then see the option there. Now, it's not like a discussion forum where you have every single interaction going back and forth. 
the feedback box there is only one feedback box so if I want to give a secondary feedback I would have to add it here and likewise the learners only ever have one box so it's not like the assignment mechanism where you will see every time they've submitted you actually see the previous submissions all you ever see is the final version of their submission and the final version of your feedback you don't get kind of lots of iterations of the different ones so it's just aware that that might be a limitation for some people if I was using this as a serious part of the assessment I have to be conscious that I won't have a full audit trail of everything they've done and also once I've marked it as complete, there's nothing to stop the student coming back in and changing their answer. So I probably wouldn't use it for kind of hard and fast assessment activities, but for very simple, quick ways of capturing information and getting the students to think, and especially with the ability to change what they think. So if they want to change their opinion, that's a good thing. Uh, this can be a very powerful tool. I'm Dave Ford. If you wish to get in touch, then please look at my contact details on the screen. I'm based in the UK, but I work with organisations all over the globe, providing consultancy, training and resource development services, mainly in the areas of Moodle and Tatara.